Have you ever heard about probiotics? They are good bacteria that live in your intestine. Looking at our bellies, it's hard to imagine that more than 10 trillion microorganisms live in there. Did you know that? They are capable of improving our health, offering benefits to digestion and nutrient absorption, as well as boosting our immune system. Did you know that gut flora or gut microbiota is the universe that houses probiotics? When the gut flora is out of balance, which always happens after using antibiotics or with unbalanced and unhealthy eating habits, the intestine ends up being populated by bad bacteria that aren't helpful to the immune system and leave the organism prone to many diseases. The harmful microbes multiply to the point of taking over the good bacteria. To reverse this situation, it's better to invest in probiotics. The main benefits of probiotics are helps digest lactose, boosts nutrient absorption as in the case with vitamins and minerals, improves digestion, regulates the intestine, fights constipation and heartburn, fights and prevents intestinal diseases such as colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, intestinal inflammation, candidiasis, hemorrhoids and urinary tract infection, strengthens the immune system, increasing the production of defense cells called macrophages, stops the proliferation of bad bacteria in the intestine, prevents problems such as obesity, high cholesterol, hypertension, allergies, and food intolerance. A healthy and rich gut flora is developed from birth, especially when the baby is born by vaginal birth and is exclusively breastfed during the beginning of their life. Do you know where to find probiotics? Yogurts, fermented milks like kefir, cheese and kombucha are foods where you can find good bacteria. Besides, of course, capsules, sachets, and compounded medications. The more diverse the probiotics, the better. It will make it easier and faster to develop a healthy gut flora. Try taking probiotics before or after a meal so that the food helps the bacteria survive the gastric acid and arrive in the intestine where they will multiply. It's important to remember that even if you take probiotics, you still need a healthy diet rich in fiber, prebiotics, because they are the main foods for probiotics, helping them survive in the intestine. Interesting, right? Soon, in another video, we will see the most important probiotics and their benefits to our health. Stay tuned for the next videos and don't miss this. Thanks for watching. Can help you. If this helps you, click the subscribe button and the bell icon for more daily health living videos.